Ball don't lie, neither do I. Welcome back to the Mish Monster Sports Channel, where today we are going to be discussing the top five trade destinations for Jonathan Taylor that you're probably not thinking about. If you're new here, my name is Misha, and it's my job to make you a little bit smarter about the NFL and introduce ideas that you might not have been thinking about originally. The challenges with predicting where Taylor is going to land are that we simply don't know what his main priority is. When he officially is traded and signed to a team, then we'll likely know what those are but for right now I think we need to be figuring out does he want to win does he want to get paid or does he want to be a star regardless of those answers here are the five teams that I think he fits with the best so let's just jump right into it <laughs> The first team that comes to mind is the Dallas Cowboys. We know that there's no one in this league who loves stars more than Jerry Jones. Not only does Dallas have the most cap space at $21 million, it could immediately put Dak back in the position to recreate the success he had in his rookie season with Zeke. We know that when Dak throws less than 30 times per game, they have a winning record. And so the acquisition of Taylor could not only catapult them to being in the top two of the NFC, improving the running game and making it more reliable will also help Dak cut down on the turnovers that we're still seeing in training camp. The second team is the Miami Dolphins. They seem to be working with a different salary cap than the rest of the NFL because they're always in talks with the top free agents or in all of the relevant trade conversations going on throughout the league. Sure, the Miami Dolphins are probably happy with the nearly five yards per carry that they're getting from Jeff Wilson and Raheem Mostert, but there's no doubt that Jonathan Taylor would make them the favorite in the AFC East, and he would immediately become their number one running back. Yeah, so what did they like to do running by committee? It'll just take the tread off of his tires if they choose that they want to re-sign him after this year. Adding Jonathan, will open up that offense because we know that the success of that offense is almost entirely predicated on the success of the running game first. Number three, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This team is not on a lot of people's radars. And I'm actually not sure why. Maybe it's because Baker Mayfield is likely going to be the starting quarterback. But regardless, they're returning the majority of their starters from the Super Bowl team on defense and some of their best players on offense. Now, if Taylor decides to join the Buccaneers, he's going to be part of one of the highest performing offenses in the last decade. And so if he wants to be a star, Tampa Bay is the perfect place to go because the Bucs are going to try to reduce the amount of times that Baker Mayfield throws the ball. We don't have a surefire number one running back right now. And having the threat of Mike Evans, who could likely hit a 10 straight season of 1,000 receiving yards, as well as Chris Godwin on the other side, and this new guy, Trey Palmer, that everybody's talking about as the draft steal of the summer, Jonathan would fit very, very well there. And there's no doubt that he would be a major feature of that offense and team. Number four, the Philadelphia Eagles. Did you think about them as a landing spot? Not only do they have plenty of cap space to take Jonathan on right now, we know Howie Roseman is one of the most aggressive GMs and he's not afraid to take big swings on star players. Philadelphia has a history of bringing in guys who have had success at other places and then thriving in Philadelphia's offense. There's critics all over who think that Jalen Hurts can't replicate what he did last year. I'm not one of those critics, but I do think that adding Jonathan Taylor would be a massive relief to Jalen Hurts as he pulls back on the amount that he runs. If you're a Philadelphia fan, you want Jalen Hurts passing from the pocket as much as possible because we know he's an incredible decision maker and then transferring the burden of all of that tread from last year onto Jonathan, I think it makes all of the sense in the world. Not only does Frank Reich have a history of utilizing Jonathan Taylor's services appropriately, but he also could be a major addition to Bryce Young's development as a rookie quarterback. Jonathan's a high character guy, he's a leader, so he could walk into that locker room with his pedigree that he had from the Colts and leverage that. Listen, if it's your first time here, 
appreciate you stopping by and spending some time with me. Couldn't do any of this without your support. So would love a like, a subscribe. We're doing long form and short form content all throughout the week. Look forward to staying in touch.